beautifuls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, hey, welcome, I'm Finn. In today's video, I'm not sure whether I'm an idiot or whether I am brave. So, I could end up being a, uh, a Slytherin or a Gryffindor here. <laughs> we have got a DIY lash kit that I'm going to be trying out. Now, if you've been here for a little while, you'll know that I hate my eyelashes because they literally just go down. They don't do anything, they don't stay up, no matter how much I curl them, how much mascara I use, they just don't do what I really, really want them to do, which is a beautiful curl. Now, Freddie, his eyelashes are beautiful. It's not fair. In today's video, we are going to be trying out the Lash Lift Kit by Icosign. Now this is a really affordable kit, it's from Amazon. I think I paid 22 pounds for this, but there is definitely enough in there for like five, six, seven applications. Maybe even more, I'm not too sure, but definitely enough in there for multiple uses. So yeah, let's just unbox this really quickly. So that's the front packaging, just says Lash Lift Kit. The back has the instructions. Now apparently the instructions aren't very clear. So I might have to watch some YouTube videos in order to do this. And then on the inside, this is so freaking adorable. Look! How adorable is that? They're tiny little pots and it just, it, this is really aesthetically pleasing to me. I really can't wait to use this. In the kits, we get some clean tools, we get some lift pads, perming solution, fixing solution, nutrition for your eyelashes which is just a bit like a oil, um, I'm not sure what oil this is but we will have a look. We have a cleaner which is the first and the fourth step. We've got a tub of lash glue, apparently this lash glue isn't actually very good according to some people so I might have to use my current stuff. We've got some lash lift tools to pop our lashes onto the pads. And we've also got two under eye pads, so hopefully these all work lovely together. I'm so excited. Um, one of the first steps though, I did this makeup look for Instagram, so I now need to go and take it all off. You really need to rid your eyelids of any like grease, makeup, dead skin, stuff like that. So I'm going to go and wash my face really, really quickly and I'll be right back. Right guys, I've taken off my makeup. This is what my eyelashes look like. I'll zoom you in. I'm gonna sneeze. They go very, very straight. They just go straight and down. There is no volume there. It honestly upsets me. They just, let's curl these mofos. So on the back of the instructions, it says use the cleaner number four to remove the oil, dust and makeup residue. So let's just unscrew this. There looks like there is still a tiny little bit of um, makeup on my eye, I promise there's not. It's just stained it ever so slightly. Okay, step two, apply the eye pads under the eyelids to protect your skin from the lotion. So I'm gonna do that, but obviously I'm doing one eye at a time. Right, step number three, put glue on the eye pads and then put place it on the upper part of the eyelid and make sure that it stays. So, let's get out the lift pads. Now these I have already looked at, I already looked at this kit, I've had it oops, for like a few weeks. So, I have honestly been so excited to try this. And these are the little rubber things that stick to your eyelash. So I think this was the one that I was gonna go with, and I can't remember what this was, but if you have a look, so these stick to your eyelash, let's put it over there, and then all of them are different like, they protrude differently and that establishes how far out you want your eyelashes to flick round. So if you have one that's quite flat, they'll just go straight up. This one's quite large, so hopefully they'll go round and up. But I now need to stick this to my eye. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. I think we're kind of in business. I now look like I've been punched in the face. Should you be able to open your eyes while doing this? No? That's the only way I can keep my eye open if it's something like that. Right. <laughs> now I need to stick my lashes to this pad. Is it meant to be this uncomfy? I don't know. So I need to put some eyelash glue all over the little pad thing and then scrape my eyelashes up onto it. And hopefully they stay there. A 
few moments later. The next step is to take the Perm One lotion and put that on the eyelashes and then cover it with some plastic wrap. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll zoom you in because I can't see. <laughs> oh, it stinks. I feel like this is an editorial look that should belong in Vogue. Um, I'm going to leave this on my face for, I think it's 8 to 12, 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to leave this on my face for 12 minutes. I'm going to keep making sure that they haven't unstuck, but so far so good. And I will see you then. So see you guys in 12 minutes. Just a really, really brief update guys. This is not stinging me at all. It did a tiny bit like the glue. I think I might have gone a bit too low, but I've wiped it off absolutely fine. And the only thing that is uncomfortable is like the pad. So I think the pad is too wide for my eye and I should have probably cut some off. But lesson learned, maybe next time, but it's actually fine. Doesn't burn, doesn't sting. If something does sting, by the way, take it off. Your eyelashes curled are not worth your eyesight. So there we go. See you in about 11 and a half minutes. <laughs> Alexa, turn off the timer. It's been 12 minutes. This isn't painful. It is just mildly uncomfortable. So the next step says, Remove the perm lotion number one with wire brush, which is this, and then apply the fixing agent number two on the eyelash and then cover your eyes again for another 12 minutes. So I need to take off this stuff. Um, hopefully it comes off. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this because I saw um, Steph Toms do this and it was pulling out her eyelashes. Number two is apply the fixing lotion. So we're gonna put the fixing lotion on. See you in 12 minutes. Right, it's been another 12 minutes. We are nearly there, we're on the homeward bound. So the next step is use the cleaner number four to clean off all the residue with the wire brush, wiping with the comb side. Really need to take this off and it's coming off anyway, so. Let's just take that off. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Okay. What the frick? I have eyelashes. Please stay like that. Oh my gosh. There's nothing there and then, oh my god. I love it. Okay, so the next step is to use the nutrition oil, which is what you probably should use anyway. I think guys need just to say that that freaking worked. That worked. Um, I'm super happy with that. Right, I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna do it all off camera and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> guys I'm back I'm gonna have to talk really quickly because downstairs um, they put the radio on and I just don't want another copyright strike really so I'm gonna have to talk really 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 quick but I love it oh my gosh I absolutely love it I'll just zoom you in and show you like these ones are definitely a little bit curlier I reckon like just a different shape but this one I realized that if I cut the tip off of the lash pad it fits so much more comfortable. So yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with this stuff. So they're my lashes now. Hopefully they stay like that. I, I just, I freaking love them. I absolutely love this. So that was 24, 22 pounds well spent in my opinion. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It helps me out so, so much. You've got no idea. And if you're new here and you haven't yet done so, please consider subscribing. It honestly, it makes my day to see the little numbers go up and it makes my day that you guys even come back to my channel. Like, I never ever thought I'd even have 500, never in a million years did I think that my channel would even get to that stage. So, thanks so, so much. I really, really hope you have a fantastic day, evening or weekend, wherever you are in the world. And I really, really hope to see you again in the next one. 
Until then, love you, bye.